The next step in building our part program is to define the workpiece blank size. The workpiece blank definition is only used to define the size of the workpiece for the 3D solid model machining animation. It plays no part in defining the toolpath generated by manual guide I. It also does not set any workpiece coordinate offset values that must be specified during setup. So once more, the workpiece blank definition is only used to define the size of the workpiece for 3D solid model machining animation. Defining the workpiece blank size is also something we do at the start of a program. So to begin, we select the Start Soft key. There are three tabs under Start. We want the third one that's labeled Blank. Pressing the cursor right key two times, select the Blank tab. You can see there are several blank geometries to choose from. We will machine the part from round bar stock, so we'll select the cylinder blank figure. Pressing the cursor down key once will highlight the cylinder blank figure selection. To complete the selection and enter the dimensions of the blank, we press the Select soft key. You can see that there are three parameters to define a cylinder blank figure. The first parameter is the diameter of the blank. This is simply the diameter of the round bar stock that we will use. For our example, the diameter of the workpiece is 5 inches, so we enter 5 point and press the input key on the MDI panel. The second parameter is the length of the workpiece. The length of the bar stock we will use is roughly 7 inches, so we enter 7 point and press the input key. The third and last parameter, work origin Z, is the distance from the end of the workpiece blank to the program zero point defined in the program. It is common practice to machine the face of a workpiece blank. The machined face on the end of the workpiece is typically the program zero point. This value will set the program zero for machining animation purposes inside the end of the workpiece blank by the amount specified in the work origin Z parameter. Again, it's important to remember this only affects the 3D solid model machining animation and does nothing to actually set the workpiece zero in the program. In this example, we set the workpiece zero, 100 thousandths, inside the end of the workpiece blank. Note that the graphic shows that the work origin Z value inside the workpiece is a positive value. So we enter point one and press the input key. Note that all of the parameters require value. If a value was optional, an asterisk would appear next to that field. We will see examples of optional parameters in later tutorials. Just remember, if there is no asterisk next to a field, a value must be entered in that field. It is not optional. So if we did not plan to face the workpiece to establish a program zero point, we would enter a value of 0 in the Work Origins Z field. Now that all parameters have been entered, we press the Insert Soft key. Manual Guide I has generated a G1900 cylinder blank figure block. Note that as you cursor over each word in the block, an explanation of that parameter is provided in the status bar. G1900 is the cylinder blank figure. D5 point is the diameter of the blank, and L7 point is the length of the blank. You can edit each parameter using the text editor, or you can press the Alt or Soft key to bring back the cylinder blank dialog box. Change any value and press the Alt or Soft key or press the Cancel soft key to exit without modifications. All of the elements that must be defined at the beginning of the part program are now complete. We have inserted the Start Program fixed form sentence and specified the maximum spindle speed for CSS. And we have defined the workpiece blank. Now it's time to select a tool and start machining. This completes this tutorial on defining the material blank.
Thank you for watching. 